see the telegraph pole? Yeah. <coughs> Half past nine. I'm facing this way. That's where I saw her. That's where I saw him. I pulled up in between the telegraph pole and the uh, lamppost. He came out of Ryan's house, a couple of doors down, walked along the side of the bush, crashed out of the car, crashed out of the car, said to me that he was like getting his tooth done tomorrow, he was back on the market, how he weren't going to let her fuck him up, and she was never going to get a job. Um, as a prison officer and none of that, he was going to make sure of that. Um, he kept telling me how much he loved the kids. Uh, he wouldn't be on for me to score the next day, but don't worry, like, I will contact you in a couple of days when I'm sorted, but I am going off radar. Now, that was his exact words there at like half past nine on Sunday night, on that Sunday night. So we had something planned then. So on November the 28th, 2021, at around 9, 9.30, Alex started his journey from this location. Um, obviously I'm not gonna disclose exactly from where, but it's within this vicinity. November, November, sorry, 28th. November the 28th. So it's 
cold. Cold. Rainy. Not sure if it was that night. It was. It was a, yeah, early hours of the morning. We'll have to double check around the gap. So we know you come along this route. And <coughs> it, this is where it kind of gets um, baffling to a degree because Alex had a few days prior uh, cra crashed the car that he had on finance and was given a higher car so it wasn't really known at the time what, what vehicle Alex would have been driving so this is a relevant point of interest this road along here. Now interestingly, I don't know if there's any ring doorbells along the left hand side. Probably not so much on the right hand side because it's quite covered by shrubbery and, and bushes and hedges. So I don't think the police ever checked those properties back there. But as we come along into this 50, there is a AMPR camera. <coughs> I think we just passed it. So there it is there. There it is. On that lamppost on the left. So you right. So he passed the AMP AMPR camera. Now what that AMPR camera didn't establish was who was driving the car. The only thing it did establish is the car come across this direction that night that he disappeared. Because it wasn't the police that found the footage. 
Bree would have come from. And it's highly probable that he would have come down this road. Now, the reason I come to that conclusion is it's less obvious than driving down the road to where his estranged wife lived at that time. So this way, it gave him the opportunity to come round to see if there was anybody in the area. Um, but I'll get into that, because it is relevant. But I just want to focus on coming down this road. So as we come down it, I bear in mind it would have been darker, um, later, and in winter time. So there probably wouldn't have been dog walkers when you come down it. It is probably early hours of the morning. Um, an exact time couldn't be established as such because though it was noted when he left his parents, um, but there's no way of knowing that exact time. So this is why I come to the conclusion that this is the route that he had taken. Now I'll put in the photo of the hire car that was parked down this road. That's not going to, where I'm going to park isn't going to be exact, but it will give you um, a, a, a view of, of what, what it would have looked like at that time of night. But he did actually come here and was never seen again. So I'm going to park the car just down here, which is probably about 50 yards between where we're parked and the telegraph pole and that line. No, I don't think it was that far. I think it was more, more down there. Do you think? I thought it was more. actually. I don't know. It's quite a way down. Yeah. See, I'm so the houses, the houses on the left. The houses on the left. There is. I think. So we're going to do the walk and reenact the possibilities of how Alex got in this car to where he was found three months later. So it's going to be a bit of a walk and it's going to be different to what it is during daytime because of the lighting. So I brought, brought a head torch so hopefully because it's summer I might just keep enough, enough light to be able to actually see what the journey would have been like but twice as worse because it was winter and it would have been pitch black freezing cold now I haven't wore these clothes today as Alex was in a sense but the theory was that he had one shoe and I'm not going to do it again <laughs> but the theory was that there was a slider found next to the car and he had got from the car to where he was found walking. Now when I come down the other day, I took one shoe off and uh, it would have been impossible. However, what was never said, or what I didn't know, was I assumed that it was a walk to somewhere. And that wasn't the case when I come down here, because what I discovered is I initially thought that when the police come and done their search, they've done it within this area, within a 500 metre radius. Now, I say that because the media confirms that, and the helicopters could be seen. It does also say that they went along the beach and along the coast. I guess they were probably going back to base, so it's like, let's check as well. So yeah, they're, they're facts. Anything that I'm saying is factual. It, it's not fabricated. The only thing that's not factual is how Alex got there. Now the interesting part is you could drive a vehicle down this lane, but if you had one shoe on, I don't think you're gonna be walking it. So as we take this journey, you can come along and see the possible route of what happened where it happened. So there'll be a picture of the car as was that night which was parked down this road. And I did say during the day the lighting is bare, bare 
minimal up that road. So it's getting dark, but it would have been pitch black. Now, the relevance of that is, if Alex come up here that night to see if his estranged wife was was indoors, it was known by police records that he'd come up here previous and just up the road there, you could get round the back of the buildings and you can gain access that way. So we know that because it's uh, noted by Kent Police from an incident that happened here. So without further ado, I'm going to start walking the route that could possibly have been the route to where he was found. Now, it's also important to say that once his car was here, it was never established that he drove the car here. It was a hire car that was found there. And <clears throat> the police attended the scene. Of that much we do know. So we're going to go down to where the body was found some three months later. And you can see the terrain, the hostility of what it would have been like if this is a route you'd taken. One, one shoe. I mean, look, that, that's like a big, big shard of, I don't know what, pottery or something. But, so here's my foot, uh, here's my shoe. Um, so I'm walking, uh, but I'm kind of, I, I can't, like, it's like I broke the leg, I think. Like, I'm, I'm hobbling. Like, I am literally. Hobbling just trying to walk. Um, now it doesn't need to say that really you couldn't have walked on the grass, which is not something that I considered the other day because I looked at it from the perspective that well you come down the path. So yeah, I mean this is walkable. I, I can walk easily. But I suppose you'd have to take into account that it would have been, I need to put my shoe back on in my slot, you'd have to take into account that um, Alex's phone was in the car, so he had no source of light. Well, we can assume that it has no source of light. Now, I will put in maybe a comparison of walking this same route but with different camera angles so it would be side by side from going down there during the daytime not knowing where I was going and maybe running this walk at night. Um, but the perspective will look different purely because of the light and I've got a head torch. I'm probably going to put it on soon because the cameras are probably going to start suffering from low light. So, with the help of the uh, local lady the other day, I discovered that you can actually come down this lane. So I suppose the first thing you can gather, uh, especially at night, is it's desolated, dark, quiet, and if you were alone, it would have been much, much darker. Now I appreciate that I'm giving off some light and it's not as dark as it would have been. But at the same time, you kind of get a sense of how it would be if this ultimately was the route. Now, from a logical point, the car was parked just up there. You could kind of say, well, it would kind of make sense that this could possibly be a route that you would take.
One thing I would like to see is uh, the reaction you could have. Uh, your feet would be cut to absolute pieces. But I'm just trying to get a closer look of the, the path itself and it's jagged, it's sharp it's, stones. It's like glass. Yeah. Uh, when I come down during the day, I, I could barely walk um, a few metres. I was like, you, you're just not walking down there. Not walk with one, one shoe. Um, so, do you know what? For, for the sake of... Um, I mean, look, that, that's like a big, a big shard of, I don't know what, pottery or something. But, so here's my foot. Uh, here's my shoe. Um, now I'm walking, and, but I'm kind of, I, I can't, like, it's like I broke my leg or something. Like, I, I'm hobbling. Like, I am literally hobbling just trying to walk um, now it doesn't mean to say that really you couldn't have walked on the grass which is not something that I considered the other day because I looked at it from a perspective that well you come down the path so yeah I mean this is walkable I, I can walk easily but I suppose you'd have to take into account that it would have been I need to put my shoe back on and my sock you'd have to take into account that um, Alex's phone was in the car so he had no source of light well we can assume it had no source of light um, I mean, nothing was found to indicate that that there was a torch and he come down with a torch. But this is what kind of makes it this town's kind of mystery missing person. Um, that there was no no answers at all. Um, the post-mortem was inconclusive. Other than to say that they said in the post-mortem um, from the media that there was no signs of violence. The death wasn't caused by drugs. However, it's worth saying uh, there is a terminology um, which is used because there was traces of cocaine and alcohol, I believe, in the system, and there is um, a, con a condition or a scenario where the combination of cold and cocaine um, can cause a shock. Um, but that, that's, that, that's a theory. All this is a theory. The only difference is nobody's ever walked this route or travelled it at night and documented it. Now, I've done it the other day during light, um, not knowing where I'm going. Now I've got a better idea of where I'm going. And I suppose you'd have to ask a question. How good was Alex's knowledge of this area? And I'm not talking about um, worth, I'm talking about geographically knowing the route to get to where he was found so down to the left is a farm and a lot of this is like a nature reserve um, so you can kind of hear animals so there is a fence here now you would have to have come through this gate. Now I assume the gate was here at the time and it's not a new gate. Um, I 
I, I can't confirm that. Um, and I don't know if there would be a way of... I mean, I guess there would be. Because um, I think this is up kept by the Environment Agency, I believe. Uh, the reason I say that is because we'll see later in the video the conversation that I had. And... Looks like Pakistan is down there, 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 down um, a route that Alex took or somebody with Alex um, which is a theory everything is theory so I guess we can assume if Alex come down here or is driven down here against his will he won't come in any further which in, in the car so which is an assumption because we don't know if that lock was there at night or not. So it's possible that the lock was, wasn't there. And it's a feature that is added after. But you could definitely bring a vehicle down here. If that wasn't locked. Now when we get further down here, um, it's kind of a bit different. Because what you come to realise is, once you come down this way, you get to a point where you're forced to walk. But once you get past that point, I think, I believe there was one, two, three, four ways down to where his body was actually discovered. Four ways. Um, so this route is just a theory. Um... Now, I'm no expert, but the theory kind of makes sense in that it's the shortest route to the final resting place of where he was found. And it's a very out of way route. I mean, there's, there's nobody, well, I hope, <laughs> no, nobody can really see. If, if there was no lighting and nobody had torches, you, you wouldn't know that somebody was here. Yeah. Um, and you struggle to actually find your way. So I mean it's gone 10 o'clock um, and it is summer not winter so it would have been Pitched the flat. temperatures would have been below zero at that time but there, there was a um, a wind and I believe rain I would have to double check that um, the one thing I will guarantee over that, that three day period it was pretty much the coldest it was been in the year and that was one scenario that they were concerned that he was out a difficult hypothermia So I've never seen anybody from the media or any news source or even the police um, publishing the newspapers um, a theory, a theory of um, there's so many ways to this location. Um, I think one, one of the ways that could definitely be ruled out is the campsite which is down down there somewhere purely because um, apparently it has got high-tech high-tech um, cameras down there uh, which were working now from some of the footage I'll play from coming down here um, during the day you have to ask yourself that 
to the knowledge of the guys that worked at the water place that those cameras run 365 days a year so there is wildlife to the left there's like a a lake I guess um, <coughs> yeah you can kind of get a sense of I mean especially as it's getting darker and it's probably hard for the camera to kind of get a decent image <coughs> you look over to your left here then you've got a bike <coughs> five yards here and then it goes into that lake and um, it would be very easy um, if you was inebriated or being chased to fall to slip so an interesting fact from today whilst i was um going through some of the and and that there's not much media coverage um most of the coverage talks about how the parents think that there was foul play and I did read that now I can't confirm this but they said um, in his body w was a relaxant um, now I, I don't know that because I've not seen the toxology report um, I've heard about the toxology report being discussed and to my knowledge it was there was traces of cocaine and alcohol um, but I don't ever mention oh fuck me jeez I take my fucking nap on <laughs> midget that's why I put the hood up I just got to it twice oh it's a fucking spider's web so yeah I mean, I guess they wouldn't have had this problem if they were, if one were to come down here with a torch, because I don't think these bugs will be here during winter. No. So, so yeah, before I got attacked. Um, now, also, look down now how it's got increasingly worse. Yeah, so the, the whole terrain has completely changed. Now no, I did. I did say back there that it was possible that you could have walked on grass. How possible that is if there was no light? You got to work on two scenarios. If Alex come down here by himself, um, it it would be different if you was brought down there under duress. Um, I suppose you could look at it as. You would be frog marched down here. Um, there would be a sense of control of the situation or intimidation or or duress, like I said. But unless you knew this route, uh, and I don't know that he did or he didn't. Um, again, that would that would be like most of what what are covering, which is ferries. Ferries are possible scenarios and there's nothing to say that this theory is any better than the theory of of the parents um the parents believed the parents believed there was foul play um now i'm guessing the parents believed or alex's mum believed there was foul play because she said to the newspapers that uh, there was a relaxant in his in his system. I don't know what that relaxant was. Um, I mean, I'd only read that today when I was going through the local newspapers uh, which covered the story. And while we're talking about that, um, it's not it's not dissimilar to the Nicola Bully case. Um, I mean. Uh, it's different in the sense of 
maybe the distance and whatnot, but that there was no, it was the same in the sense of Nicola Bully's phone was found on the bench. Alex's phone was in the car. Um, apparently he had a wallet, but there's nothing to say that, that he took the wallet with him. Um, now I don't think the vehicle was ever dusted for fingerprints because it was treated as a missing person because his mum reported him as a missing person. But um, I think she did pay. Now I'm not sure how this come about. She did pay a medium. Um, now that was written in the newspaper that she had paid a medium to investigate or have a medium experience, whatever mediums do. Now I'm not saying that out of ignorance. Um, <clears throat> but what I do know is that that the that, that her theory was uh, somewhat questionable within itself. So there is a train. Uh, I don't know if trains were running at that time of night or early hours of the morning. No, they stopped running uh, at right past midnight. But then you get <coughs> you get a couple of mail trains throughout the night. So, so yeah, back to the medium. The, the medium, I think the medium. When when you look at the account from the medium, um, the 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 account from the medium swaps and changes. Um, initially she says Alex was hanging from a lamppost and um, something along those lines and said something um, yeah that, that's just kind of a um, one of the things that she was having have said um, then, then then another stage um, she claimed that now I think it is at the end she claimed the last bit but she also said that apparently Alex was taken and uh, well she didn't say that at the time okay. <clears throat> um, so what she had said is Alex was wrapped in some form of claim film and she did insinuate that he was put in a car um, and she identified these people from a photo on Facebook. Um, now, I'm guessing the police kind of looked into this or looked at the size of the bag and thought, well, I don't think anybody's going to fit in that bag. And so finally, I think on a third, a third or second, I'm not entirely sure, um, she had told the police that he was in water. Um, now, when you consider this is a seaside kind of town, um, the seaside's not that far. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty non-descriptive. Um, Surrounded by lakes, marshes and dogs. Yeah. So our claim was a bit kind of like, hmm... Um, but it was actually a dog walker that found Alex uh, I believe it was noon 14 weeks, 14 weeks nearly 3 months later um, now there was no mention um, I'm sure maybe there was more at the inquest um, but there, there wasn't, certainly wasn't publicly any mention of how long he had been at the location he was found in um, but there was no no oh okay so I think this is where I come the other day and it was a dead end and we kind of went down this way if I remember rightly 
So yeah, there, there was nothing disclosed in the media. Um, how how long the body had been there? I mean, this is a whole mystery of it. There, there was there was nothing. There, there was what there was established is um, the coroner believed that there was no violence, no act of violence, because there was no trauma um, to the body from violence to indicate that. Um, dr drugs were found in the system, but that, that wasn't the cause. Um, now you could theorize that, well, it played a factor. Um, and I suppose you could say, um, could you walk alone this route under the influence of anything, a any mind or in substance, um, on a winter's night in the pitch black? Um, I mean, I'm struggling with a head torch and just trying to walk down there. I I'm actually even starting to wonder if this is the route I actually come the other day. So, uh, I'm questioning myself. Um, I'm going to assume it was, but I've only walked it once during daylight. Um, now the ground is more um, softer. So we've kind of left that, that terrain on that path. But yeah, it's this. There's just nothingness. Um, what we can ascertain is Alex's state of mind. Um, no. <clears throat> um, so anything said it, it is factual. Um, it's it's from sources that knew um, about Alex's movements before before he was discovered. Um, but we know that, um, I mean, I don't mean it to sound crude, but he'd been stalking his estranged wife. Um, that, that's, that's, he'd been charged with that. yeah, he'd, he'd been charged. Um, he'd also been arrested with a quantity of drugs and scales, so, and had phones seized, uh, which... I guess the police believed were were part of that. Um, so we know that he was selling drugs. We know that he had a cocaine issue. Um, none of this was disclosed in the media for whatever reason. Um, and I suppose from the standpoint of his parents, you would want your child to look um, the other things that you mentioned earlier, though, <coughs> that his mother mentioned about the, uh, like the sedative, he'd been put by a psychiatrist five days earlier, Daniel, on Karma's. Um, I don't know if that is or could have been the thing that was found within his system, <coughs> but I 100% know but he's been put on the medication, a medication to uh, um, oh, okay. so, so you can be snagged along here, um, which has been snagged by a bush, but oh, getting fucking attacked in the ear by bugs. Fuck off. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so, when I found the bridge, um, 
like I said the other day, I'd never been down there. So there is a road up this way. Um, but the road up this way is up to a main road that leads down to the pump house where Alex was found. So you could have come this way. The route that we've just walked, which I'll show in the daytime, which is clearer, you could come down this way in a vehicle. And when we get down to the pump house, um, you can see that there's like four or five ways in there. Um, so this is the best theory that I come up with myself um, based upon the car. Um, now, if a car was put there um, or left there, I suppose you could say that, well, it's an invalid theory because it's made to look like something that it's not. Now, I can't dismiss that neither, but based on on what there is to go on, that, that would be my theory. It doesn't mean to say that I'm right or that I'm wrong. Um, I'm just showing a perspective and an angle that's not been shown um, by the media. Um, I think the media showed a picture with three pinpoints. Uh, pinpoint one, where the car was, pinpoint to where the body was found and where he had left from um, from his parents' house. That was it. <clears throat> so, I mean, no, nobody's seen you down there. Really, uh, they might see a light, but uh, uh, w would you think anything of a light if you come down on a train? Um, <clears throat> maybe you would, I don't know. I mean, I guess you can't see what, what they can see from a train, but it's a distance. Yeah. Um, I don't think you're going to see anything clear. <clears throat> but yeah, going back to the the media, that, that was it. The, <clears throat> the media never summarised that, um, that there's potentially four four ways you could get to where his body was found. Um, not even his family did. I think the only thing I saw in the media is his family, when I say his family, his mother and father had gone um, to the location where the body was found looking for his wallet. And they never found that, apparently. Um, but they didn't say in the media that <clears throat> this is why we believe there's foul play. Um, I guess what they didn't disclose neither was was his lifestyle, um, unless they were just totally oblivious. Um, I guess for legal reasons, I couldn't really get into that aspect of it. Um, I could give an opinion. <clears throat> which would be based on <clears throat> other people's accounts of his lifestyle. Um, yeah. But, I mean, I'm, I'm really not sure how, how clear uh, the camera's really even picking up kind of where we are. Um, but if we just this is it um, without no light it's pitch black and this is still early yeah I mean I mean I've mentioned that but I mean there is a little chill in the air um, but I think that's more because it's been sunny <clears throat> the temperatures come down a little bit so there's like a chill but um nothing compares to how it would have been that night um if if 
Um, and I think it's important to mention that as well. If Alex walked this route, or if Alex was walked down this route, um, but, but I guess this is what makes it a, a mystery because there's no there's no answer to how he died. Um, there's no answer to how he ended up here. Um, much the same as, as Nicola Bully. Um, but would they have any connection? Um, based upon the, the circumstances uh, are similar um, in the fact that items were left um, rather than when the bodies were discovered they weren't on the person as such. Um, is that just coincidental? Um, well, what I do know is a side of the media, um, what the parents had said, um, the parents believed there was foul play, but they, they never give a reason why they thought it was foul play. Um, I, I don't know, you could look at it as because the medium said um, that's how they based their opinion that it was foul play because the medium said um, but they've never gone to the media and said um, yeah our son um, was in debt because of his lifestyle his behaviour was erratic um, he wasn't well um, there's never been any mention of that. Um, but it's evident that, that to some degree, that, that, that was the truth. And another thing that is very important is they hadn't actually had anything to do with Alex um, up until two weeks earlier when the injunction was taken out and he had to be removed from the house and he wasn't allowed to stay there for ten years. His his relationship with his mum and dad was rather non-existent. Yeah, I can't put that in. Okay. It's, 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 though it's a fact, oh, okay. it, it's it's yeah. You, you could rebut that and go, oh, oh, my son's been the love of my old. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. I have no photographs, I have nothing. We have 10, 11 years of fucking photographic memory. <coughs> so, now this is where we used to bring the kayaks down. Huh. And, uh, this bridge, this bridge. And you can't really see it so clear with the light. Probably have done with a brighter light. Yeah. So, I don't know how plausible um, a theory would be that, that whatever occurred, the body could have been in one place and moved to another place at a later date. Um, again, that, that's... That's playing devil's advocate. Um, but I guess there's no... After he went past the AMP camera, which would have been right down straight ahead pretty much to the main road. Um, but there's little known um, other than the car being discovered. Um, the police cornering off the the road where the car was discovered, um, and I think it's important as well um, that the police felt concerned enough to actually place a panic alarm in the property. Um, and actually block the road off. Um, because I suppose the car become, um, 
I guess the parents knew that he was driving the car, so they'd established that it was a vehicle that he had driven or was driving at that time because he had crashed his car. Um, so yeah, I guess they say <clears throat> the um, the eyes to the situation of the night can't be seen through the the eyes of that person's perspective because they're no longer alive um, what is clear um, the, this is a long walk um, <clears throat> and fracturing into the cold um, so, I guess you could, well, again it's a theory, but it's not impossible that you could have been driven all the way down this way. Um, I think it's Pinnacle Road or something, right up the top there. Um, so it clearly comes all the way down to the pump house. And... And there's two other routes that come up towards the pump house. Um, so from the daytime footage you can see that. Um, obviously you can't see it so clear at night. But. Which, which scenario do you go with? Um, An unexplained suicide, an unexplained murder, an accident. Um, I guess that's that's what you're left with. Um, no, no answer at all. Um, and I don't really understand why it never got as much media coverage as. The Nicola Bully, Nicola Bully incident, and <clears throat> I can't remember the lady's name. There have been other cases, um, not dissimilar to the environment of, of this. Um, well, one some years back, I can't remember the, the lady's name. Um, yeah, it didn't gain any media coverage um, but then what what did the media really bring to the table they, they brought a grieving mothers um, sadness anger um, confusion um, I, I don't think really you, you could say that she went to the media with with an open mind as such because her mind was made up what had happened um, based on the medium's opinion um, I mean she didn't say I don't think she ever I don't think I've read that she said um, she believed that he was murdered because of an opinion of her own. Um, she, but I mean, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I've not seen anything that suggests that um, she she unequivocally knows um, what happened. Um, I mean, science doesn't even know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, um, I, I believe the coroner said that, and I'm guessing the coroner must have been um, old, and I say old, because uh, it was quoted that he said that in all these years, he'd only known of one other case 
in these professional history um, where the circumstances were the same in the sense of um, it couldn't be explained um, I couldn't explain the cause of death um, or anything like that at all um, so that's that's part of the problem because <clears throat> um, when you look at it you have to look at it that there's two sides of a family yeah um, there's Alex's parents and the estranged wife and the kids um, so then you have to look at the police oh um, I think we find the the police um, looked at many avenues um, of what could have happened um, it was interesting to note that it was never mentioned in the early days um, about drugs but his mother did say um, you know she must have known she felt the police treated him as a druggie um, so I guess she said that statement knowing the lifestyle that he was living because if you didn't know you couldn't really make a statement like that um, I mean does that mean that she knew more than what, what she let on um, I guess only she knows that answer um, but the facts say that um, you know the autopsy said that there was cocaine in the system there's many accounts of erratic behavior drug use or perhaps we should say drug abuse um, addiction perhaps that would be another um, better way of looking at it as such smoking copious amounts of weed high grade weed um, cocaine um, and other substances uh, yeah I mean you, you can't you can't do those things without your perception of reality being altered um, you're thinking irrational now if we were to look at this and Alex walked by himself that night along this route. Now I've said it, it's a theory. Um, it's a better theory than what I've seen in the news. That's for sure. Um, but why, why would you park a car up there and walk down here? But did he walk down here? Did somebody pick him up? Um, there's so many other theories that, that you could look at. Um, I think what didn't get a lot of attention either was Alex had a license. He didn't hire that car. Um, another guy called Ryan actually hired the car for him. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. No, I, I, I thought find... I thought the insurance company would give it to him because the car was no no no. no. <coughs> I mean I can't I can't put that in because it's mentioned in somebody. Right, okay. It's speculation. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. But that's why it, it just know, leaves when, you open to. You know when Lisa said that um, Ryan turned up that day, um, the morning where the car was found, and he went to the high place across the road. Huh. He came down purely, he didn't go in the hot place, he piled the car down and was just watching what was going on. Huh. Now the old Bill, nobody fucking took, off me and Lisa mentioned it, do you know what I mean? Right, no, I don't know. 
I still think there's more to it than you can do. So, I mean, I don't really fucking, I don't want to fall in here. No. But, I mean, this is, with the moonlight, you, you can see. So the 20 foot deep there. You can see. You can see where the body was found. Um, I mean, if this was the last location, um, if it was that deep and is that deep, um, that that's a month. Um, they say a, a body can stay um, on the riverbed for a month before it surfaces. Um, that's not to say that there's. There wasn't something weighing down. I mean, it's pretty weedy and reedy. I mean, I guess. Can you think this pump out goes off every couple of hours down there and it churns up the water severely and pushes it down to the estuary. That's the storm drain huh. where supposedly he'd been. So we're at the pump house. I mean, you can hear. When I come down during the day, you couldn't hear this. Um, I guess maybe it wasn't active then. Um, you, you could hear the hum from the building when I spoke to the guys at the water place. Uh, but I don't think there's a... You can get in here. Um, but then again, I don't know if you can get over from around the other side. Yeah, you can. I know oh, okay. Right. Yeah. So brambly, but yeah. So yeah, I mean, there's there's another road there. Um. So what we're we talking now, one, one, two, two access routes down, down to this pump house. This is a third route. Um. When we come back down to the actual pump house. Um, so we have three routes there. So there's the camera up there. So it covers an area. Now I'm guessing it's got some some form of night vision. That's an assumption because I don't know whether it can see anything. There's certainly no light in here. No. Um, at all. Um, it's the pump station number. <coughs> um, underwater obstructions, automatic machinery, deep water. So, So it was three, three access points into this area. Here's a fourth, and here's a fifth. Now, I haven't been this way. I, I, I know if you go down this way, it leads to Lily Rue's campsite. I know that much. And I don't know if it branches off somewhere else as well. Um, I, did, I didn't come over this fence the other day because Oh, okay. Don't even need to jump over a fence. It's it's not locked. Um, so, so I guess people walk here. Um, so where we're walking now is it, it's pretty on both sides. It's high with. Oh, like stinging nettles, um, thorn bushes. Um, it's a long time since anybody's been down fishing this way, don't you? Um, it's the other side of a tree, anyway. I'll take you, I'll take your word for that. Yeah, the other <laughs> side of a tree is where um, that. Is what they told you was the what they tell you the east and north. 
Yeah. Yeah. So, so the guys said there's there's a, a no a South River, and the North River. Right. This um, is the South. So, so this the South the goes. Right. Stour. Yeah. And the other one goes to the it sea. Estuary. Ultimately, yeah. Yeah. Um, they did say that there was um, another couple of pump stations as well. Um, I didn't bother looking for those because. I wasn't interested in... They didn't really play the, the remnant to where Alex was found, so... I mean, again, you couldn't, you couldn't rule out... Once you're here, you, you now kind of... Like, well, how was that never mentioned? But yeah. that there's... No, I, I assumed... I assumed that there was just... I'd never been down here, so I'd, I assumed that there was one one way in, one way out, um, and it was, um, yeah, um, you can't see anything from Google Maps <coughs> that really shows these these access ways, pathways. Um, I even went to the library and looked at the ordnance surveys, and I mean, I, I guess barbed wire here um, there was another fence with barbed wire yeah. whether he's a new I'm I, pretty sure I, they're not legal I believe but, that the farmers have done this yeah, themselves could be so this could be part of a farm now I, I can't be 100% sure I, I mean I, does that open am I padlocked okay so, so this is padlocked and that padlock looks it's an old padlock, that one. You can see the yeah, it's, been, it's been there for a while. Yeah. We can guess, assume. Assume. Um, just like anything, we can assume, but show you a different perspective. Yeah. Um, what it would have been like to get to this location, to be found around this location. Um, and and I mean, the, the the camera in this in this lighting is. It would have been twice as dark, twice as cold, colder than twice as cold. Um, but the most interesting thing is, is that there was no theory put on the table, other than the theory from my mother, um, which come from a medium. Uh, that's that's not even a theory, but really, that's. That just opens. Don't you don't even need to <laughs> I'm going for a ride. I think something that um you should add, um this uh, where where his body was found, it was one of his favourite fishing places, ironically. <coughs> so I mean, so we know from from sources of information that he liked fishing. Um, we don't think he was fishing as much as what he used to, because of the the changing lifestyle or the the declining lifestyle, if you like. Um, so he knew this location, how, how geographically he knew the whole area. Um, that, that's a question that can't be answered. Um, other than he knew this immediate area, how to get here. Which way would he have come? He if would he'd... have come that way down that road there. So that was... The only path he ever took. So that's from that's the, from, the Lily that's Road Lily direction. Road down here. What's that road? Is it the Sandwich Road? Yes, yeah, so that's down the Sandwich Road, then you turn okay. right at Lily Roos, and then you can follow it through. But would he park his car up here? Or? Yeah, we, 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 we used to park just around the just corner. come all the way down, yeah. yeah. I mean, so I guess other people would know that information as well. Whether they would know the route from, from Worth, um, maybe, maybe. Hmm. Maybe, but I guess the question you have to ask yourself is: um, if he wasn't brought here, 
Um, in the middle of winter, or the end of November, why, why would you come here alone? Um, so it was obviously noted that, wow, I'm attacking myself with bugs doing that. Do you want to hold that? Yeah, hold that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll have it kind of from the distance, I guess. Is that glasses? Oh. There we go. So, when you kind of look around the area, he knew this part of the area, whether he knew <clears throat> that he could come from Worth directly here, I don't know. But when you kind of look around um, on a December's night, do, do you really come here to reflect upon your life? Leave the car. Um, well over a mile. It's got to be a mile and a half away. Do, do you come got to be. and walk here? Do, do you do, do you have an accident here? Um, mm -hmm. Was you brought here? Mm. Um, so many questions that can't be answered. I mean, it's not. It's not. It's not silent here. Like, no, it's not. You know, I'm not. I'm not making the presumption that when people commit suicide, they go and do it in silence. No. I, if I would walk to this myself um, and and come here, I, I, I would no torch. Um, yeah, I, I would be a bit. Yeah, I'd be a bit kind of freaked freaked out to be honest. Like it's not. Is that that one or that one? I'm not sure. Must have been yours. Um, so yeah. Why, why would why would you come here? Um, other to reminisce to, to reminisce about life and you have an accident or <clears throat> you come here and there was foul play involved. <laughs> Um, you commit suicide there, there, there's no answer which is what makes this a mystery within itself a, a mystery with no answers um, yeah I think what you can conclude is, is <clears throat> the degree of of um, loss and what I mean by loss is, is the loss to his children um, they won't get to experience things that that parents experience that, that kids are meant to experience um, so there's that hole in his children's lives um, I guess his parents uh, I would say his parents would search for an answer but um, there's actually a truth to that as well if you read in the paper, um, it was um, Alex's kids' side of the family that, that looked for Alex. Uh, if you read the newspaper, it clearly says, um, his mother says, I would have gone and looked for him, but the police told me to wait indoors in case he come back. Um, yeah, I don't think I would be doing that. I, I don't think I would be listening and and saying, okay, I'll. I'll if, if if you had a notion that that there was foul play, um, I think she said she she claimed that that she had a feeling. No, it's never said. She never said from the start. I don't believe. Uh, she believed it was foul play from the beginning. Um, but yeah. If your son was missing and found dead here, and you knew the area, um, well, why wouldn't you go and search for your son? Uh, who knows? 
I'm just talking shit really. I'm not gonna keep all this in. Yeah. Some of it I will, because some of it's truthful, but I need to be kind of careful at the same time. Um, maybe there'd never be an answer. But maybe if there is an answer, the only answer is two probabilities. Um, Alex has the answer, but can't give the answer. If there was somebody else involved, maybe they'll never give the answer away. Maybe they'll, they'll die with that. So yeah, who knows? 